Hello! Welcome to Shadow of Judgment, your weekly read. Let's see who we're picking up. This is for the week of October 27th to November 2nd. The year's gone by fast. Oh my god. Like nothing, right? Water signs, you're up with the moon reverse. Secrets are coming out. Hmm. Possibly for you, Pisces and Cancer. You know. Speaking of Pisces and Cancer, as well as you, Scorpio, happy birthday. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Right? Right. Cancer, we start with you as always because you're just the scrum diddly umptious. Cute little button. The most adorable little psychopath we know. Yes, you are. Okay. I'll stop being a dick now. <laughs> oh, we got a King of Pentacles. A Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus type. Someone who can make some money. Someone who can be your daddy. Might even be you being daddy. Be like, yes, you get on your knees in front of me. Bitch, that's where you belong. Not you, but the people who you command and shit, right? Oh, oh my god. Okay, sorry. I got... I got a... Uh, <laughs> I, had a I got a message. I got to, like, hit my friend up once I get a chance. Because it's just like, ah, oh, you... Mm, you mm, mm, no. I'm not doing that to you, bro. Anyway, cancer back to you. Okay. You can be this king of pentacles, or this is an earth sign you're dealing with, or maybe you're just emulating the energies. Mind you, cross watch your switch where you need to, right? There might be a sense of needing a break in some sense. Maybe you're making too much money, or maybe you're wearing yourself out making money, and you're not sure how to go about taking a break. You have not thought that far out, but it's possibly making you a cranky pants, or this earth sign is being just a cranky pants to you. Just saying ignorant shit and such, right? And you, yeah, all, yeah, this was probably, hmm. I got two kings. This definitely would be you, Cancer. It's like you need a break, and right now you are being kind of selfish with it. Will you get the fuck out the cabinet, you crazy, crazy kitten? What are you doing? What are you doing? That's not the right cabinet anyway. You better get the fuck away from there. Crazy. I don't know why. You better. That's what I thought. You better, like, not even try to turn around. Mm. Cancer. You're needing a break. And because you're not getting a break, you might be becoming a little bit bratty. You might be being like, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Fuck off. You know, that kind of sense, you know. And then this cat, if this is not you, is probably just going out running his mouth about whatever. Hell, this motherfucker might go out and holler at motherfuckers while you're sleeping. Because apparently, there is um, some lack of not knowing what to do between the two of you, and that's leaving possibly you with anxiety more than anything. Interesting. Either that or you're driving this person crazy. It honestly could be either or, uh, Cancer. I'll tell you what, every time I've ever had it out with a Cancer, and this is the God on its truth, the motherfuckers would all, y'all motherfuckers have this tendency of driving people to the point of they're insane just to prove your point that they're insane. And I don't know why, but it, you guys tend to do that. <laughs> You guys can drive anybody up a wall if you really want to. It's insane. Like, I admire your determination. You know? But it seems like you might be doing that to somebody and they're probably talking shit. You know? And running. And running to wherever they can fucking go. Holy shit. Who is this earth sign cancer? Because uh, them running has got you um going out trying to figure out what the fuck happened. You know? Oof. Yeah. Oh, jeez. 
Well, that's kind of like confusing. Hold on. All right, Ganser, you got three extra, right? The Wheel of Fortune Strength and Five of Wands. Whatever this is going on for you this week, Cancer, it's like, it might go to a head. It might go to a head because, like, someone's going to only hold this line back for so long. And it is just like, you know what? I just think it's funny that, you know, well, going into that kind of shit, it's like building. It's like a bitch is waiting to, you know, start that fucking argument. Just just give me one reason to start with you, you know. That, like, that's like the kind of energy I'm getting right now. It's just like, who are you about to start with? Because this is like, you're coming back being like, I think it's, you think it's so funny, huh? You think it's funny. You know what I think it's funny? That you don't even get to sleep on the couch. Have fun outside in the goddamn garage. You better hope I don't fucking turn it on while you're sleeping since you're a heavy sleeper. Watch your drinks, too. <laughs> oh, I'm just talking nonsense tonight. <laughs> mm, I knew a cancer would say that shit, too. It worked. I don't understand it worked, but it worked. <laughs> anyway, this earth sign over yonder cancer. Um, they got the funds, they got the means, they're able to give whatever. They're running away, running their mouth, and then they're running to go get booty somewhere. Um, escaping from this... Um, could it be with the Gemini, too? Um, from this four of wands... Reverse energy, where it's just like the relationship's over, the marriages, everyone's getting a divorce... Mommy and Daddy don't like each other anymore. Mom keeps starting arguments. <laughs> uh, this is all, like, I'm sorry, Cancer, but, like, I don't know if this is you. I almost feel like this is you, like, like egging the shit on a little bit just because you are trying to get rest and you're not getting it. It's like there's a break that you're wanting, but it's not coming out the way you are. And it's not until after you kind of come off dickish that you realize, you know, maybe I shouldn't have been that way. But then like you're still coming in like swinging like you haven't gotten over what pissed you off yet. You guys get over anything? I don't know. <laughs> like you guys hold grudges like Jesus holds the world in his hands in that song, I guess, you know? I don't know. But, all this indecision, all of what you're trying to figure out, which you're not, um, it's plaguing you at night and keeping you mentally stuck during the day. It's like you don't have a lot of focus during the day because of this shit. Either because of what you want to fucking say and the door being closed in your face, essentially. Hmm. I wonder if... Is this even somebody you deal with right now, Cancer? I wonder. You know, I'm just curious. Like, I've been talking shit about you guys for like a good... Eight minutes. Eight minutes. <laughs> but it's like, damn, man. Like, shit. Like... I really feel like this is somebody you want... Just from the Knight of Swords right here, you want to say something, you want to approach this door, but I feel like this is in your head. I feel like this is all in your head, or something is in your head. There's something here that feels like it came just out of the mind, and I'm wondering if it's this right here, because it's like... Why is he out talking shit and running? Like, he's already in emotion to move forward. Why is he going even further? Why is he running with such great passion? That's what that's that's kind of what I'm wondering with this Knight of Wands. Like, why is he galloping off after he was the Page of Wands? Like, why is this king acting like a page in a, in a, in a knight to begin with, you know? Why are you upside down and then becoming a hermit just run into the woods and shit, only to come back a clean-shaven young man with a sword and a fucking attitude, you know? Like, something here is in someone's mind, but I'm not sure what it is. But, that's what I got for your week, Cancer. It's like there's something happening, but it's not happening. It's like, it's almost like an image to me, if that makes sense. Anyway, we gotta move on, Cancer. <laughs> I've been talking shit. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I love you. I really do. 
I, uh, but I show my love by talking shit and occasionally sexually harassing my friends. But I usually ask permission first because I'm a gentleman. Boop. Scorpio. You want my, you're thinking about getting on a boat. Just escaping, right? Because the world is a fucked up place, but you'd rather be somewhere that's less fucked up than here. You know? And you got your guards up about it, too. Ooh, look at you. Oh, there's some. Let's see. No, you're not taking the action to do so. And you got a king of wands right here who's kind of like, uh, uh What do you think you're doing? You might, you, you want to let me know when you're going past me? He's like sitting at a couch like a dad waiting for his kids to come home really late. Just sitting there waiting, thinking about what the fuck he's going to say. And be like, I wonder what I could say to really creep my kids out before I beat their ass. Because I, because I, damn it, I, I, like, I've only had two beers tonight out of fear, you know. Like, he's just waiting to say something once you pass him a little bit. Someone might be even guarding him a little bit. Or even that could be you guarding, you know? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nah, it's you. It's you. Right. You might be keeping your guard, but you're still standing here like, Sir, I would like to parlay. And this dude's like, Oh, 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 oh I bet you would. <laughs> oh, there's some sort of, okay, there's some sort of connection here between you and this King of Wands, right? In... There needs to be a decision made about him, Scorpio. Because you definitely want to get to the bottom of things as the king of swords. Look at all these higher-ups in this shit, man. Yeah, you know, someone is a very, very bitter empress. Either a bitter mother, bitter wife, all that shit. And someone's just damn not happy, Scorpio. Neither of you two... Or like really happy in this scenario, but it's almost like you're scared to let him see you, and he's got his back turned to you. Be like, I wish you would, motherfucker. Just, just let me lay eyes on you for two fucking seconds, and let me see what happens, you know? But he doesn't know you're back there. And this is a point where a decision you can make, where like you can decide if you're happy or not with this scenario, Scorpio. But. I feel like you're not going towards this relationship. You're deciding, like, you want to leave, but at the same time, you're not doing anything because you're still kind of, like, hung up on this relationship, even though, you know, it makes you kind of pissed off. It could be, like, this king of wands, too. Whenever you deal with them, it's just like they're a bitter person. They take their shit out on you. They don't really listen to you. They get under your skin. They do stupid shit all the time, and that just gets on your nerves in general. It's just like you can't do this many dumb things in one day and then expect me to be cool. I mean, if you're in love with the person, you can overlook some things, but you can only be with somebody for so long before, like, you know, the flaws start getting to you, and then you're at that point again where you gotta figure out, do I like you, or am I going to smother you, you know? Also, it's your birthday, Scorpio, and you probably feel empowered as fuck to do some damage. <laughs> Get your damage on. Happy birthday. That's your week, though. That's what you're going to be looking at, possibly. Hi, C's. It's your turn. I totally fucked my table. There we go. Well, I didn't like... It was like metaphorically, not literally. Um, you want to... Ooh, do you want to offer your cup to somebody who's kind of broke? Or are you broke? Like, you want to offer your cup somewhere, and it's just... But I feel like... I don't, I don't feel like that's you. I feel like that's another person. Like a spoiled princess bitch. Uh, she's a young empress, but she's her first, so she's probably not that mature. She probably flung her bird a couple fucking times and it hit a wall, and now it just kind of sits on her hand. She's just like, oh yeah, I trained him to do that. No, that's how he sits. <laughs> oh, I am talking such nonsense today. You want to fulfill a wish this week. Let's see how that goes. Oh lord, it might be with a Capricorn. Or just to be to a relationship that might not be a, be a good idea, but, you know. Love is love, I guess. It's whatever, man. At least it'll keep it exciting. But, you know, be careful with this relationship, I'll say. But it could be a Capricorn. 
To which I will say, please be careful with this relationship because, like, I don't know. Yeah, this person doesn't even want to fight with you at all. Did she want to? Huh. Like, this person isn't going to give any conflict? I don't feel like they have much to offer, though. There's some wish that might come to an end. Oh, look! You, you became a king! Or are you about to date a different water sign? Or are you going to... Like, I don't know, man! Like, I, I don't know... Like, what is with the devil? Why is the devil between the two of them? Oh! 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 Wait! 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 Is this something you've dealt with before when you were younger, but now you've matured after experiencing... Uh, like a, a, a fucking Capricorn, I guess. I don't fucking know. Like that—that's literally just the devil itself, right there. I, like, hi, how are you? <laughs> but it's like you've already been through something once. I guess maybe you went through like a dark night of the soul thing, and then you just leveled up. You bossed up, and it's just like, yes, I am the fucking king. But I'm not touching the water. It's gross. There's fish in it and shit. You know. Hmm. Weird. There's no conflict, but there is a going down of the pentacle. It's where something doesn't work. Or is, like, somebody trying to start something with her and, like, something doesn't work with her? Like, an argument and shit? She doesn't argue back? That shit's not working on her? You know. There needs to be balance between the two of you, I feel like. Yeah. You might feel like there's no coming together. And this person over here might feel like there's no love. Huh. Which is interesting because it's like, that's, that's the odd thing. It's like this person doesn't feel like they are appreciated. This person doesn't feel like they're being given. I think. And I think you both need to come together in order to end this, in order to bring that balance. There might, you might need a mediator. You might just need a mediator, dude. I'm just saying. Like, I think that might be what it is. But, in a way, I don't really... Okay, I'm laying one more, guys, for you. One more. How do you two feel about each other? Oh, well, there's a few. Uh, like, you were both left out in the cold and couldn't rest, but you want to start something to... Yeah, you guys want to make things right. Uh, you just gotta be careful not to come off as dicks to each other. You know? But other than that, I, I don't feel any animosity between the two of you. In fact, I think that kind of surprises you two. A little bit. Hmm. That's what's going on in your week, Pisces. Alright. That's it, water signs. That's the end of the read. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. Ain't got to if you don't want to, but I greatly appreciate it. Right? Right. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week, or not, if not sooner. Um, love your faces. Y'all be good or be good at it. Bye.